this time without cam on and for a while now I might not be doing cam because I just I don't know I I have a few reasons for it but I really don't want to go into them in the video so yeah just letting you know the video is not broken it's just no end to scam for now yeah I was supposed to be here okay Angie, I don't know what to do. Piper, is she okay? Actually, are you okay? What happened? Well, after we talked the other day, I thought a lot about what she said. Some of it's still hard to understand, and even more of it's hard to swallow. But I realized I couldn't be with Piper and stay clean. Oh well, yeah, that's true. With her in my life, there would be amazing heights, but we both were now so fast we barely live an instant compared to what I could without her. I want to do great things, Angie. It's understandable. Very much, Dark Even she's freaking... I feel if a person is really trying to give you trust when you want to stay clean, they, they don't love you, okay? They don't, because you are trying hard to be out of this addiction and I feel like drugs are the worst addiction ever. It's the hardest one to, you know, uh, get out to because they are the strongest on your brain and just, you know, staying clean is not easy. And kudos to everyone who is trying and who is managing to stay clean even for a short while you're you're really brave and you're really amazing and there she fucking goes and leaves him trust for fuck's sake she doesn't love him if she would love him she wouldn't do that not in my book the stuff i'm playing now it's just a sample of what i know i can be but it would never happen with viper strangling me that's true jesus you told her all oh, that? I had to. And I knew this was a possibility. If it had been me instead of her, I know I'd be right where she was trying to fix my sad, pathetic heart with as much junk as my veins can hold. I don't think you would. What was the right thing for me? At least, I thought it was. You're not guilty of anything you know. She did this to herself. You don't have any responsibility. Oh, like when she, if uh, like she was so sad, she tr like overdrug herself. That's what he meant, and that he did the same. Okay, okay, I get it now. Why the hell are you beating yourself up over something you can't control? Because I'm a fucking addict too. Group of science of CISO and if one doesn't go down, then the other can never go up. Today she pays and tomorrow out because that's the way it goes. There is no balancing this shit, we just take turns feeling sorry for the other. Look, I'm sorry. Can I see her? So, who's paying for all this? I didn't throw any money. Oh, <laughs> I thought she meant lunch. Uh, so, it's about the Viper. I know we don't have any money, so I don't know how she can afford to stay here. The lab is helping out a lot, probably because they're worried the story will get leaked if she's not taken care of. So, I told them I wasn't going to the rest of the tour though. They have kind of close the coin purse. Wouldn't be a problem if this fucking doctor had a heart though. What are you talking about? The doctor looking after Viper. He's an expert, the absolute best you can get in this city. He's got the means to help fix her, but he demands all this money for his work. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? He sounds like a doctor from Poland. Never go to doctors from Poland. 
They are too much used to paying paid way too much for their services. I get that he's talented and there's a lot to be who he is, but it doesn't mean shit when people's lives are on the line. You know, if he doesn't have to, you know, uh, get a lot of money for extra, extra expensive medication or some mashes or whatever, if this is the money that goes only to him, yes, I agree with Dark if this is, that's how it is, because I can understand that, for example, hospital is not capable of paying uh, sometimes very expensive medications, which really sucks, and which um, other things should be working on, but I can understand, like, if, like, the doctor doesn't have a power over that, he just can't get those pills, he doesn't have money for it, hospital doesn't have money for it. But it's just he demands for his work more than he should. Yes, I agree with Dark Kid. It doesn't matter as much who he is if there is a life on the line. I swear, I saw him kick an old lady out of here the other day because her dead husband's military passion didn't cover her prescription. Uh, in that case, what you do is you try to get her cheaper medication if it's possible. But yeah, like I said, if it's a medication, I partially I know it sucks, but you know it's it's very complicated sometimes, but. Yeah, it's disgusting. Have you talked to the guy? Maybe he's not as heartless as you think. Ask him to do some work, pro bono? <laughs> pro bono, okay. Yeah, why not? The least you can do is ask. I'm sure he will listen at least. Shit, see? I'm not good with these things. Come on, you've got to help me out. Go talk to him for me and work your magic. But your eyelashes and blow him kiss it will work for... Really dark if really. I don't know about that, but I guess I could talk to him sometime. Where would I find him? He's a stickler for routine. Every morning he gets a coffee at the Krusty Cream. He talks so early every afternoon to go see a movie at the Sunny Megaplex. And after hours, he's probably at the Empire Bab congratulating himself. I will go for you, Texas. I'll be hanging out here pretty much all the time. Go talk to him and let me know what he says, okay? Well, there's no harm in trying. <laughs> 